Hey, everybody in here, sitting having my coffee with all of you inside the tiny house because it's still cool. Sorry for the crazy hair. I just got up. I literally just got up, went and checked on the baby chicks, so I'm going to show you those later. Um, I did want to tell you I got a couple more things in. Well, actually, one came UPS and one made it to my mailbox, if you can believe that. First, I have to show you seven more gift cards. Yep, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, and there was no note. There was no, there was just a receipt for, um, that it had been ordered, and so it, this has enabled me to not only get the generator, but a small window air conditioner, so I'm going to show those to you in just a second. This is the generator that I have officially ordered. It is a Durostar 4800 watt peak, 3800 watt running, dual fuel electric start generator. I had been actually looking at Dural Max generators. Actually, I was looking at Champion generators and they kept raising the prices of the one well, the ones that I wanted and I just didn't like that at all. So, I was looking at Dural Max, but they're about $50 more expensive for the exact same generator and I come to find out that Dural Max actually makes the Durostar generator so there's no need for me to spend 50 extra bucks for a generator that's going to be exactly the same but it has plenty of safety features a low oil sensor breakers all that kind of good stuff so I just need to thank everyone who donated who sent me gift cards um, Doreen and Teresa both sent me huge huge um, gift card uh, things via Amazon for this so thank you and thank you to the last person who sent me those seven all at once all of you um, that I featured in individual videos this is just so much appreciated I cannot wait till I get this but get this you guys look at what else I was able to order just because all of the extra gift cards that I got like within the last couple of days as you can see the generator is supposed to be coming on Friday it's already shipped and arriving September 1st, it may arrive a day earlier than that, I'm not sure. Just a 5,000 BTU basic simple window air conditioner. It's made by Hisense. It was the least expensive one that I could find on Amazon. Um, it hasn't even been reviewed yet, but I'm sure it'll work just fine. Um, so that is going to be delivered. So again, thank you to everyone who contributed to this. And thank you to all of you who have just been watching my videos. And like I've said before, leaving comments and voting. That all makes a huge difference to me as well. So thank you, everyone. I am just absolutely elated. Also, I got this cute card. Look at that. It looks just like Judy. And on the outside, it says to me, and it's from Miss Judy. Oh my gosh, look at this card. And it is from it is from um, Judy and Christina. Thank you, Christina, and thank you, Judy. It came with a nice donation. Thank you so much. Uh, that's really going to come in handy. Um, it says, get Papa a hamburger. Enjoyed seeing him again. Well, he enjoyed seeing you guys again, too. So thank you so much, Christina, and give Judy Dog a big hug and kiss for me. Okay, today, most of it's going to be involving the chickens. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this hair. And um, also, um, I have to clean out the shed because that's where I want to put the generator. It's a big shed. It's got plenty of ventilation, and that way I can keep it out of the elements. So it that shed is covered. I mean, it just boxes, boxes and boxes that I haven't burnt or broke down or anything. So I need to get that cleaned out. I need to throw some of that chicken bedding into the coops here and there. Um, so I've got a busy day ahead of me. I just wanted to show you too, I'm sorry for the fans in the background, but um, this whole thing is pulling in 15 amps right now. And I'm running both of the fans, uh, like three fans, off of this solar now. And it is, let's see, how much... And it's still at 12.9, uh, so that's pretty good. It, it was up to like uh, 14 point something, but um, this little thing is working great. I've disconnected from my neighbor's electricity, so I won't have to do that anymore because I'm going to be able to run my fans off of my own solar. Once I get the generator in, I'm going to be golden.
Good morning, baby chicken. We got three so far. I know we got more. Let me freshen your water and your food. Look at this. Look at These are all boxes. Some of them have stuff in it that I want, but most of it is just boxes with more boxes. There's a few remnants of insulation. Hopefully it's not yucky and I might still be able to use it, but there's not very much left. So all this needs to be cleaned out so the generator can sit just about in the middle here. Phew, it's going to be a job. Whew, look at all that. There's still a little bit of work that needs to be done, but uh, got all the boxes out. My neighbor lady came over, and she worked like a workhorse over here. She just wanted to get it done. So, there's plenty of room in here for this generator. I just need to get this carpeting up off the floor, or at least pull it over here. Uh, it does not need to be on this carpeting. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be gotten rid of. And then I'm going to try and get all these little flakes out because they're flammable. They don't need to be in here anyhow. So this is not a sealed area. You can see. And, yeah, this is stuff I want to actually keep. Yeah, there's plenty of wasps in here. It's crazy. Um, but there's plenty of ventilation in here everywhere. It's not enclosed, but it's enclosed enough to keep it out of the elements. I mean, I can even feel a cool breeze in here. So, I think that this is going to work fine for the generator to keep it in. It'll dampen the sound just a little bit. Um, so, I just need to clean up the floor a little bit better, and then we will be good. But, <laughs> I've got to get rid of all this stuff. I mean, I could just set it on fire, just find a little clearing somewhere, and just put in a little bit at a time and just burn it. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. And then we also bagged up all of this that is just going to be hauled off to the dump. So, I'm going to have to do that as well. Oh my goodness, so much work, but we got it done. Still a lot of work left to do. But, I think that this will work. Oh, look at this. Look who's left the nest. She's got one, two down there. How many more in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm almost afraid to look at the nest, so I'm going to go ahead and look at it and then let you know what's going on in the nest. Okay, there's two eggs that I don't know if they're going to do anything. There's one egg there. I don't know if it had a baby chicken it or if it's just remnants from another one, but uh, she's been doing her broody poops in here, so that's why it's been smelling so terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out and see what's going on with these two eggs. Oh my gosh, just look at them. Nothing wrong with these eggs at all. These are just all the shells that the baby chicks came out of, so that's good. I did remove her for a little bit and freshened up this little bedding back here. So there's two eggs left, so 11, 10, 9. There should be nine baby chicks. So there's one. I just can't count them all. Two, three, four, five. I don't know. I don't know how many there are. So there's two eggs that are left unhatched, and I know that there's seven baby chickens down there. So that's nine, um, and then one of them ended up getting cracked early on. So there's actually two eggs that are not accounted for. Um, I don't know if maybe over the last day or two uh, when I wasn't checking underneath the nest because she wouldn't get off the nest, if maybe she just pecked at them, she knew they weren't any good and just ate the shell and the contents, that's a possibility. But um, there are only seven chicks in there right now. Only two eggs left to go, and like I said, I don't know if they're viable. Um, and then one, so there's two that are unaccounted for. Um, but you know what? Seven out of 12 is fine, and that's plenty. Um, that's more than enough, so uh, we'll just see if she hatches out those other two. I don't know. Um, I'm just happy that I got my fans going on my own solar, so that's good. Uh, the generator is going to get here Friday. I'm excited about that. I just need to do a little bit more work with the chicken bedding and uh, the floor of that shed to get it ready for the generator. And um, But I, I just need to take a break. It's hot. Um, it doesn't feel too bad in here with the fans going, though. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this video here. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.